this is the second video by Artful Optics. Uh, this one is Pop Art Shoe Drawing. We're going to be inspired by work of Andy Warhol, a very famous artist who popularized pop art. And he worked with shoes quite a bit. Now, the materials we're going to be using today are uh, Crayola water soluble markers. You're going to need pencil and eraser to do your drawing with. You will also need a watercolor brush. Number eight uh, that comes to a fine tip is good. Black fine liner. I like Pilot because the ink is uh, slightly water soluble in that too. Bristol board or mixed media paper, any paper that's a bit thicker to work with water. And of course, you're going to need a, a container with water and some paper towels. You will also need three of your favorite shoes. Pick uh, one shoe from a pair, uh, something that's interesting. Try to have them all slightly different. You can even get a boot if you like. Once you've picked your selection, uh, we start with setting one up to draw and using a pencil, you're going to do a contour line drawing of your shoe. I'm using a sideway view right now. And you're just drawing a basic uh, contour just by observation. As always, we're going to try to use things to look at to better develop our drawing skills, our observational drawing skills. So how do you place the shoes on your paper? Well, try to create an interesting composition. Uh, try to get a different view for each shoe and you can turn your page and make things fit in a effective way. If you have a bit of an overlap, so one shoe is uh, slightly behind the other, that might create an interesting visual effect as well. Always go for uh, things that are a little bit different and extraordinary. Don't worry about too much detail. Just uh, simple outlines of uh, laces and uh, buckle, whatever other elements you have in your shoes. Uh, when you're done your pencil drawing, you're gonna take your uh, ink fine liner and Go over your pencil lines. After you finished outlining uh, the shoes, you're going to add a bit of a depth to them. So we do that by uh, shading around the edges. Obviously the shaded parts are going to be inside the shoe uh, and the bottom, the soles of the shoe, because th that's where normally you would have darker areas as the light usually falls from above. And we're not doing too much shading, just around the edges, just to give uh, the shoes some illusion of depth. And you can use a very simple cross-hatching techniques, just a bunch of uh, lines close together, 
to create a, an effect of a, a depth or, or a shade. Also between the laces and maybe wherever there are uh, deeper indented sections, you would put a bit thicker lines or a bit of cross hatching. Erase your pencil marks when you're done. And next we're going to work with color. And here you're going to be very creative. You can pick whichever color you like. Uh, just pick one for the top of the shoe and uh, the other different color for the inside of the shoe. You can even mix a couple of colors like I'm mixing uh, light, lighter and darker purple for the inside of this shoe. Uh, again, you're just going over the same shaded areas uh, you worked with with your fine liner, except now you're doing them in color. Each shoe will be a different color, bright colors, hopefully, um, even clashing colors are good because this is pop art. We are making things that are um, commercially attractive. Uh, they are common objects made uh, to stand on a pedestal, made to be unique. Just like that Campbell's soup can that Andy Warhol made famous, a common objects made into fine art. When you finished uh, with shoe color, you're going to draw uh, a kind of a shape, a smooth circular shape just to enclose the shoe. And it's going to be a, a shoe background. For each shoe, we're going to have a unique one. And you're going to put a very simple pattern inside. Pick a color that's drastically different from the shoe color, like blue and orange are complementary, and a simple pattern like polka dots, and maybe uh, another pattern could be lines, could be curved lines or straight lines, just making it fairly simple and bold. We want to make a bold statement with these shoes. And add a bit of shadow, cast shadow from the shoe onto the uh, surface, the bottom surface. Red and green are also complementary, but again, you choose whichever colors appeal to you. As long as you feel that they're quite uh, different, so you surround your shoe with a with a different quite different color then you're going to fill in the spaces that remain if you have any depending on how you composed your image uh, with something darker you always want to finish your uh, drawing or your painting so the background is just as important as the object and if you put dark around uh, the edges of your main characters, it will make everything else pop. And that's what happens to our shoes. And finally, for the funnest part, we are diluting Crayola markers with water. And it turns the drawing into a really like a watercolor painting. A very easy to do. Try to wash the brush when you're changing colors. Experiment a little bit with the amount of water you're using. 
Don't let things run into each other. Control. You have a paper towel to control the amount of liquid you have in your brush. And just enjoy how smooth the ink runs into the different sections of your shoe. Uh, the ink from the fine liner also gives us a bit of extra depth. You can see it also creates a bit of darkness around the edges. Once you've done the shoes, move on to the patterned uh, sections around the shoe. And you can see how simple patterns can be very effective to make your shoes pop off the page. And obviously the, the dark um, corners also add to effectiveness of this composition. So here is a shoe drawing. It's a pop art shoe drawing. And I hope you really enjoyed this. Um, I'm hoping to make more videos like this. Let me know how you feel about it. What can I improve on? What would you like to see more of? Thank you for watching and we'll see you again.